All the praises and the honor goes to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Recha Ha Kodash, and double honors to the elder apostles and the elder bishops of Great Millstone. Honors and salute to you, brethren, that scattered abroad doing the Lord's work. Even you supporters of this truth, even you few sisters, and shalom to the elect. Anyway, um, I told myself I would do a video on this. This um, brother, he comes down to the camp. He's been coming down for a while, uh, watching and supporting the truth. And um, I was shocked when he rolled up. Not that it's not normal for me to know this, but then I see this little white boy. <laughs> and I was like, well, who is he? You know, not in a manner like, I didn't, you know, I had a problem with it or whatever, because I, apparently I know if he's with them, there's got to be something with it. So he said, this is my grandson, right? So I said, this is just, you know, the most, the most high just keeps showing more and more proof that, and, and this young man, he's a young man. He speaks the name of the Lord. He calls out on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. So it was something to see. Now, we do teach that, you know, when you got younger children and family coming in to be careful, right? You know, you had those talks. But the scriptures do say train up a child in a way that they may go, right? And he was explaining to me how these um, two flame moles, well, he was saying that the little boy in his school, the two flames, jumped him and tried to take him right and then uh he fought him off and this is going on in school now i couldn't understand why there's no expulsions well then i do understand because if it was him that did it to two young women he would have been kicked out and expelled so we see how all this goes so anyway um a few years ago maybe a year ago almost maybe eight months ago some black only Israelites came up and there's other groups that has made mockery of the prophets of great millstone saying that we have white boys in the camp. Um, Sakari Deacon Hakar said great millstone has white boys in the camps. And obviously I did videos where they shoved the white boy in his camp over in the West or whatever. So they kind of just hijack people's doctrines and keep a little bit and then scorn people for doctrines that they've hijacked and twisted. <clears throat> so anyway, you have ISBK who says, okay, they have white boys in the camp. And you can't, you know, we can't understand or we do understand that these people are just not spiritual. They ain't, they just ain't got it. I guess that's the best way to say it. you ain't got it. Right? Let's go to Deuteronomy 28 and 64. And then I'll get some, script, some more scriptures. Uh, this is Deuteronomy 20, 64, because the black only Israelite says that the third generation, then the curse, uh, if, if you haven't corrected it, then the seed is spoiled or something like that. I've never seen the Bible say that. But anyway, Deuteronomy 20, 64, and the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth, even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods. Now, how will they serve other gods? Right? One of the earth, even to the other. This is not just talking about a black person in China or Russia or Japan. This is talking about the curses of us, the, the skin curse, the curse of us, right? The look. We look like everybody. And the Lord did it. It says, uh, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. So we go to. St. John 6 and 63, it is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh, profiteth nothing. So I got into it with the black only Israelite, and he said, well, if it profited nothing, then why, did, why, why do we make a big distinction over the Messiah and his black skin, so-called black skin? Well, it's simple for truth's sake. That's what that's all about. When, now, we need to identify with our Lord. We need to identify with our Lord, which he says, if you see me, you've seen the Father. There's no way we're going to walk around thinking the Lord is a white man with blue eyes, blonde hair and blue eyes. 
And they'll say it doesn't matter. I mean, the regular Christians. It doesn't matter now, but it mattered when we were young and we was watching this stuff. Nobody told us that it didn't matter about his color. So this is disturbing and it's disgusting um, how people, they mock us on it. And, um, you know, it's what what they're supposed to do, you know. Let's go to Exodus, and then we're going to go into the seed, right? Exodus 34 and 7. It says, Keep in mercy for thousands, for giving iniquity and transgression and sin, and that will be no, by no means clear the guilty, visiting the iniquity of their fathers upon their children and upon their children's children unto the third and fourth generation. And this is where they get that from. Now, I've had a talk with brothers and we was talking about, you know, the, 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 the son doesn't get the curse of the father. But in a sense, if that child has that leprous skin, you have it. You can curse your child with it still. But far as what happens to them, not likely. Right. But here we see the curse to the third and fourth generation but here you see today, well, we're still in the curse. Which means there's no gray area in curses. You either cursed or you're not. So it doesn't matter whether you have black skin, white skin, Chinese skin, you know, olive, so called olive skin, which olives is just red or black. I don't know where they get that from. Green, right? Maybe basically a tan white. Well, no matter what skin you in, it's still the curse. I got news for you. If you over in a, in a holy land and you might have an Israelite amongst them who's worshiping other gods. I'm just saying, that's just what it is. You got to accept that. John 5 and 6. This is he that came by water and blood. Even Yahawashah. Not by water only, but by water and blood. And it is the spirit that beareth witness. Because the spirit is the is it is truth. Right? So it is the spirit that bear witness. The spirit is truth, not someone's complexion. You'd probably be surprised how many people who are Israelites that have that white skin or some other skin. In fact, you look at some of Ishmael, some of them look like a uh, northern tribe, you know, Ephraim, northern tribe. You'd be surprised. Anyway, I just wanted to touch on that. Let's go to Acts 3 and 25, and then we'll get a couple definitions. Ye are the children of the prophets and of the covenant, which God made with our father, saying unto Abraham, and then thy seed shall all the kindreds of the earth be blessed. Now, you can read that in Genesis 12 and 3 when the Christians pull that out. But then when you go to Acts 3.25, all the kindreds of the earth shall be blessed. Well, let's see what it's talking about first before we go into the seed and all that stuff. All the kindreds. Um, let's see what that says. Yep, that's going to go into the seed, patriarch, you know. Um, goes into lineage, running back to the progenitor of ancestry, families in which given laid to claim of a Carmen origin, the Israelites which distributed into 12 tribes descending from the 12 sons of Jacob. Right, so now you have the black only Israelites, and here's the weird part. You have the black only Israelites say the Mexicans and Hispanics and everybody else are not Israelites. But then you have the Sakaris and the IHBK and the IUIC who say they are. But clearly they have a distinction, a lot of them in color than we have. But then you'll see the other groups, one West group say, well, GMS has white boys in a camp. But then you'll see the black only Israelites says, the other, other, all the other camps, us included, 
have heathens in the camp. So you see where it go? They don't have the understanding of the spirit. Why? Because it's a show. If you sit up there and say, well, wait a minute. This white boy that looked like a white boy, he could be an Israelite. This changes things, right? This means the shtick and the hook and the cursing out everybody that comes up. Looking at the white guy and titling it, white guy gets slaughtered with the scriptures. They don't, what I'm seeing is these groups don't care about the Lord. They don't care about the elect. Leave it to them. This show will go on for another thousand years. As long as they're funded, as long as they're getting people in, as long as the, the women are coming. And women like seeing this. They like seeing the strength. They love seeing uh, black men rank, rank on the white man, right, because of the strength. Not so much of delivering the message to the elect to wake up. But then you see a lot of these Eves go to mess with white men anyway. Why these men will say, we don't mess with no white woman. And you don't even know if the white woman is an Israelite or not. This is how confusing it is, man. And it, it keeps the show going. That's why. Can you imagine if they had to do like us or the white person come up, we try their spirit first. Instead of old school one West, we throw the sign down, show the slave sign, say this is what, what you did, you're going to pay for it. Now can you imagine an Israelite that coming up that looked like another nation and saying that they got to pay for what was done to them. And they're an Israelite. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, let's go on down to the seed. It says, it's a lot in the seed. From one that germinates, seed, grain, kernel, metaphorical seed, residue, semen, Right, as I said in the last video, semen like somebody that floats out and that goes out in the sea, they call them a semen. That's where they get it from. S E A M E N, just to play on words. The product of this semen, seed, children, offspring, progeny or progenitor, family, tribe, poster posterity. So now a lot of them will say, "Well, you're a mumzer, a memzer." These people don't even look up to see what the word mamzer is. It just simply means an illegitimate child. And look at us. We're all pretty much illegitimate at this point. Look at us. This is where they don't believe in the New Testament because we believe the Messiah came, the Most High sent his son to bring us back through mercy. This is why the black only Israelites who follow the New Testament gets cooked. And every time they come up to us, they get cooked with the scriptures because it goes hand in hand with the Old Testament. So now grace and mercy is bestowed upon us. This is also why you can't say we're in the new covenant because you got Israelites walking around with white skin, right? So you can't say that either. We're still paying taxes, paying bills. We're still in captivity. You know, we still it at, at hits with our what our, our counterparts, our women. We're still destroyed for lack of knowledge. And Hebrews eight says the whole house of Israel shall be saved. And when they get saved, then the new covenant. He will make a new covenant with the whole house of Israel. You know, damn well the whole house is Israel is not under some new covenant right now, man. That's a horrible new covenant. Anyway, the product of semen, children, offspring, progeny, family, posterity, what gives the force of power, divine energy, the Holy Spirit. Um, we go down into the strong definition, spermia, sperma, G4687, something sown, right? Offspring, a remnant. Okay, Spiriro, Spiro. Let's see what it says. G forty six eighty seven, Spiro, Spiro. To sow seed, proverbial. Okay. Uh, I think that's it on there. But that's what we see: spermia. Um, we see here seed. I think that's seed, patria. So all the kindreds of the earth shall be blessed. 
Israelites that are scattered. That's why when you see go teach all nations and so forth and so on, that all links to this. Right? I think I went in the seed already. And it went to, okay, yep, spermia. spermia. Let's go back to kindred and see if there's any more of that. I don't think I ever looked for that. Okay, Kendrick, G3965, Patria. Um, derivative of G3962, paternal descent of families or a whole race. So there's so much to look up in here in Acts 325. The generator of it, this is the Strong's, generator of male ancestry. It has nothing to do with the flesh, as we read in St. John 6 and 63. There's no seed that's going to get watered down. The Most High is a perfect power. And when you're dealing with the, the, the seed, you're kind of dealing with the soul, the spirit. And there's no spirit or soul that could be watered down. It's either you're an Israelite or you're not an Israelite. Right? Period. It's either you're one or you're not. Now, and I always say that some white people come into camp and they scoff against the truth. Uh, we had a couple of them do that. And I said, man, he's probably an Israelite. Because if it was a black person did it. See, this is why you have to follow the right group. These groups are followed by audiences, right? And these audiences, you know, are fed the, the mainstream media. Or let me say the uh, Israelite media. And then when you have the Adam Abbott's the Wi-Fi's and a title white man gets sliced with the scriptures and the sword. How do they know that's not an Israelite and they're not slicing another Israelite and condemning another Israelite? How do they know that? Now I had to learn that too years back. You know, I, you go out, that's what you think. You just got to Now we still go in or eat them. We still, we read the spirit. We know some that is. Let's not get it twisted. We're not going to say that every white person come up, they, they can, we're going to say, okay, you're an Israelite. No. You got to know there's some Edomites with your skin color too. Or may look like Japheth, right? You might have Edomites that look like other nations. Uh, over there in Egypt, right? Right now. Anyway, I hope this lesson was edifying. That's all I have on that shallow one.